Yep. Here we are. People are gathering at the big giant embassy event. Wave. Say hello. Say hello. Come meet you. Robert Christy. Hume. Christy. Oh, you're Christy. Oh. 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 I know. And it's Where's all recorded now. Ah, but nice to meet you. It's in the band. We'll get that later. You got a keg in? No, just a bottle. We actually, we actually, we actually were there. We actually were there. Lots of cool gear, lots of cool embassies, and lots of cool tents. Looks like over there is Guy doing a recording for somebody, for his channel. Hey, how are you? Hey! Going on? Oh, hey, live? Yeah, well, not live, but we're, we're recording. recording. All right, good to see you. Robert. Good to see you. This is your tent. Robert, yep, we're putting the tent up. We finally got one of these clams. Been watching everybody else, and we finally decided on this one. Cool. And uh, create a little uh, atmosphere. Yeah. 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 We are. Welcome. We love embassy. We love embassy. We love embassy. Awesome. <laughs> That's a good ambassador thing to say. <laughs> yep. Here we are at the embassy meetup. There's the man himself. Hey! Oh no! There's the other big guy. Guy, where you been? I walked all the way around, didn't see you, man. Oh, I was, you know, walking around. I was walking around like you, and we just missed each other. Yeah, he's doing videos too. I have to compete. There's wait, Terry. Wait, wait. <laughs> Why don't you do a video of me videotaping you? Oh, here we go. Say hi. Hi, wait. So I have a 360, so oh, I'm going to win a bank I'm right. fancy. <laughs> Why, hello. How's it going? I'm well, and yourself? I'm doing well. <laughs> Do you have an embassy? Uh, yes. <laughs> this is the content that people tune in for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is why we get paid the big bucks. Our second year at E.B. Pines. It's Yay. incredible. The weather's incredible. Um, hmm? We have That's such a great down. group. I mean, oh. it's just, we, we are... Just tickled to do what we do and be able to offer the things that we offer and, and see the joy in everybody as you travel and enjoy this wonderful life. So, you know, we are so proud to be a part of this, I just have to tell you. So, it's wonderful to have you all here. And I guess we're going to have a little how to cook different things in your RV little contest going on. So, that'll be fun. And glad to have you on board. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, like Terry said, if you haven't met me yet, I know I've met a couple of you here and there. My name is Michaela Smith. I am one half of Wanda's replacement. Um, <laughs> it's very big shoes to fill, and we don't plan on actually replacing her because I don't ever claim to be as amazing as Wanda is. Um, so it's lovely to meet you all. I will be here all weekend. Chat with me. Tell me stories. I'm excited to meet all of you. Um, so we're actually going to transition into our camper cooking contest. contest. I know Sherry, we do have a little bit of prizes. They're conveniently right in the middle here. Um, it's a cooler set that holds two wine bottles. Yep, yep, yep. And then as well as a little campfire set. Um, I believe one of them is to cook like a little waffle. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And then also some like marshmallow ones. So... That way you can enjoy, whoever wins gets to enjoy some uh, s'mores tonight. So, yes. Woo! God will be here tomorrow. Exciting. Yep. 
Yep, and it will roll in right here. We'll be set up the same way, and it'll roll in and park quite literally right here. So, with fireworks, right? Well, yeah, I've got sprinklers, I've got an air horn, I'm prepped. So. <laughs> so, here we are at uh, Embassy RV. <laughs> And my wife is acting very silly because she's very happy to be here. She's so excited. So what do you think of the place, dear? Very nice. I love all the trees and the nice cool breeze and all the happy people. Yay. Yay. And of course, there's our dog having a great time. Hey, Sherry. Hello. See you in a bit. Food for the potluck and cooking contest. The winner, of course, will be mine. And everything else is everyone getting ready to have fun. So let's have fun. All right, everybody, say woo! Woo! <laughs> Everybody scream! Woo! Are you excited to be here? Woo! Hey! Success! Access rules! It's been hard to pick one winner out of all those. They were so good. Mm -hmm. This one was just really different. It, and when you right. taste it, it's, it's just right. something I haven't well, which, had ever. Which one won? It's the dessert. Oh, let me see. Well, that's, that's, that's the second one. I made two pants. Yeah, so. I know. I saw you sneak that one in. Congratulations! <laughs> Whose is it? Right well, congratulations! Oh, thank you! What did you think? Or th was the judging fair? <laughs> Obviously not, because I did not win. I think it was the most fair judging I've ever been a part of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was circling oh, in here. They brought it back. Yeah, they brought it Somebody back. Somebody tried to smuggle it out yeah. of here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you. I just want to take a moment. Yep. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'll take that. And now the feeding frenzy begins. So it's another beautiful day at Embassy Meetup. We're doing an early morning walkabout. It's uh, sometime after 7, probably 7.30 or something like that. There's no time to care about while you're traveling. People have their tents up. Their wonderful rear cabanas. All right, here is the famous cabin that you can get in the back. Cabana, I think they call it, in the back of an embassy. Absolutely fantastic. Gives you a ton of space. Boy, there's a lot of embassies here. It's amazing how we started off with maybe 10 people in our little group on Facebook. And now we're well over 2,000. And here's someone walking their dog. Say hello. <laughs> someone else walking their dog. Say hello. What is this over here? Oh my lord, there's a lake with mist on it. Very nice. Wow.
Good morning, sir. Oh, you got a thing. We'll do that. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Where's your? Oh, there he is. Where do you think he is? Right next to the other camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're all so proud of this vehicle. I can tell you, there's been a lot of hard work put into it. So, it's a beautiful, beautiful RV. <laughs> I think I could live in there, yes. It's okay to record, right? You can record now. I yes. can record now, good. Absolutely. Yeah. Ask me any question. We got DVRs, 360 cameras. We got a oh, big wow. screen yeah. for this. We got a three zone hydronic where your water tanks are a zone, your bedroom's a zone, and the living room's a zone. So you have different thermostats, different heat exchangers with their own blower and ducted. We actually heated the storage compartment outside in the back. Well, are you going to do that for mine, yeah. Ben? <laughs> I can duct tape a duct. Yeah, you can duct tape, yeah. You know, yeah. The air conditioner is a heat pump, dray hot, oh, nice. that is ducted even into the bathroom. So the bathroom's air conditioned and heated. And storage all the way down? Storage everywhere. We have storage under this sofa, so this is like your sofa, but just bigger. Oh, and it comes out? So there's no water yeah. tank under here because they're outside, but they're engulfed in aluminum and insulated in hydronic line. Oh, okay. So they're temperature they're control. They're temperature control. And then this slides out, and there's hatches in here, so this is all storage. Another thing this. Like wow. How big are the tanks? Uh, four, 34 and 37. Are they bladders or tanks? They're standard yeah. tanks. But there, we did create custom aluminum enclosures. Okay. So this flips up and extends the kitchen. This is really cool. Just like that, you've got a big countertop. Wow. We've got pop-up electrical in the kitchen. And in the bedroom the same way with USB, high-speed USB. The TV actually tucks to the wall. We built a custom slide system and it hides behind the refrigerator. Oh, wow. Nice. So it disappears. The toilet in the bathroom disappears. You have a 45-inch shower. Oh, does the toilet go under here or something? The toilet disappears under the... Under, yeah. And there's a linen closet in there. So we built our cabinets deeper and we still have a big aisle. So the, what everyone lost behind their cabinet drawers and stuff, mm -hmm. we made a separate storage from another direction. Uh, and took advantage of it instead of losing it. So if you look in here, that's a linen closet in the bathroom. Wow. That's and the, the toilet. toilet is down this here. This is magnetic. Oh, wow, there you go. And it just pulled. We'll have a handle for it, but right now you pull right. the, uh, pull the whole thing out. Yeah. So lab your dry flush are separate tiny right now. Right. And then look at how big the shower is in here and a beautiful custom sink. And, and is this more storage, I guess? storage under there. Oh, okay, for wet stuff. Cool. And you have a real sink inside here. Nice. We have ventilation in here. We have air conditioning and heat in here. Wow, it's all just smooth and... That's all yacht composites that they use okay. to build cabinets and yachts. Okay. It's air-impregnated plastic with a firm interior to hold cabinets. That's how they build yachts. 
All right, we're here with Wanda Kaiser on her very near retirement from Embassy RV. What are you going to do next, Wanda? <laughs> well, next I'm heading to Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. And um, in August, I'm going to go for a sister's vacation for eight days to Prescott, Arizona. At the end of the year, I am planning a trip to Ocala, Florida to see some siblings. And then hopefully next year, Scotland. Oh, Scotland, God's country. Yeah. Yes. Um, are you going to miss Embassy? I'm going to miss him tremendously. But like Terry said, he has my phone number. Yeah. <laughs> so if anything comes up, I'm sure to get a call. They're going to drag you back. <laughs> yes, absolutely. absolutely. Well, it was lovely knowing you, and you helped us. You don't know how much, because we knew nothing. We were newbies, and you, you walked us through every step. We had never owned an RV, and you made sure that we knew what we were doing. Well, thank you so much. It's been my pleasure through every sale, through every meeting with my customers. It's been my joy to interface with folks. I am a customer service driven person, so I enjoy every step. All right. Love you and we best you wishes too. for everything. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye. All right, here we are with Michaela Smith, <laughs> office manager, new office manager yes. for Embassy RV. So what do you do for Embassy RV? Um, so I am currently training under Wanda's position. Um, I'm taking on some of her roles and responsibilities um, for Embassy. So um, the things that you see Wanda do, I'm training under. Um, I do a lot of your final paperwork. I'm also the receptionist. Yeah, the final paperwork is always a fun one. So I'm the one corresponding with you on how you want things titled, registered, all sorts of things. I'm responsible for incoming chassis. Um, what else am I responsible for? <laughs> Everything. I, yeah, it's, you know, a group of many hats and, you know, Wanda has even more hats than even I do. And it's, it's fun to learn what I'm taking on, what she does, the, the integral parts of the company that really matter. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you, you arranged the entire event here. Yes. So I can't, kind of became the point of contact for the event right. uh, this year around. Um, <laughs> um, so Wanda has done this in the past. We've all kind of pitched in to help. Um, but I really wanted to be kind of the point of contact for the event, make sure everything went well, make sure everything looked good. You know, this is an event for our owners, and I wanted it to be, you know, important for our owners to see that Embassy really cares about you guys, and you guys mean a lot to us. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. And you uh, have bought in the 21st century yes. with a QR code yes. on the badge. Um, as I said to our owners the other day, um, this is what happens when you hire in the uh, younger generation. Um, so I uh, have some experience with marketing. I have some experience with digital media, media stuff. Um, so this was really important for me to ease of everybody involved that, you know, we're moving into the new age where everything is digital and it's important for everybody to right. get the easiest accessible way to view everything. And so for some people that is phones. So. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so you'll be updating the entire website? Uh, not, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a little bit more than what I've got going on. Um, I do try. I, I am a part of that. Um, we're having conversations about what we want to do moving forward as a company. Um, really important stuff like that. You know, um, We are actually releasing an update to our website, so things are going to look a little different moving forward, especially with the announce of the B+, which has been amazing. So there's some updated information about that, as well as some updated information about our fans as well. And what brought you to Embassy? Um, so I actually had a couple bits of family that worked at Embassy. Huh. Um, I grew up in Elkhart, which means RV uh, capital of the world. Um, so everybody you know works at an RV factory at some point in their lives. But um, So I had some family, and they said, hey, there's a position open. I know you're wanting to leave your job. And it just was the perfect opportunity for me to go in and interview. And everybody said, I think you'd be a perfect fit. And so they took a chance on me, and I'm very glad that they did. Yeah, wonderful. Any last-minute thoughts? Um, other than to all of our owners, thank you very much for being so welcoming to me. Everybody here, everybody on the Facebook group, um, I'm very excited to work with you all. Thank you so much for taking time to interview of course. a very small <laughs> channel on YouTube. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Take care. Well, let me do this the official way and officially introduce our panel members a little bit more. So we've got Terry Minix, our vice president. Yay! Nolan Tallman, our service manager. Yay! Brandon Gruber, director of engineering. Yay! 
and Chuck Holdeman, uh, the RV production manager. Yay! <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start out, and you guys can pick the best person to, to answer those for. Um, our first question is, how do you get the most efficiency in cooling from the split AC unit? What we do when we sell the split AC system, it's really designed for stout. Don't block your condenser. I'm going to repeat some of those that are a little quiet for and you guys. I, I would say probably once a year check your EVAP for dust and things because you are opening your doors a lot and going to different areas, just like your home air conditioner. When traveling and a problem occurs, how to contact Embassy to attain help? The best way uh, would be to either call Michaela and leave a message with her, and then she relays that, uh, those, those problems to me, or by email. Um, email is uh, service at embassy.com. Embassyrv.com. Embassy I, I, I don't even know how to get in contact with myself. So. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be the best way. Frequently, Nolan is underneath a van. So we had a couple of calls this past week that I went out there and I was literally bent over talking to him under the van seeing if we could help a customer that was driving into town so so the biggest difference between the split and the rooftop um is really uh exterior um aesthetics obviously one's very noticeable the other one you get to remain stealth um there also is some differences in performance um kind of like terry was saying you know you take a an ac system and you duct it um, you're going to inherently lose some performance um, versus a free blow scenario. So the rooftop um, does gain some in performance through that free blow scenario uh, with the interior plenum. Another big difference is um, one of them is 120 volt powered, the other one is 12 volt powered. Um, amp draw out of the battery on both of them is pretty similar though. Um, within 5 to 10 amps, the 120 volt being the slightly higher drawing um, AC. But uh, what it draws in amperage, it gives you back a little bit of performance. Happy birthday, dear Phoenix Service. Happy birthday to you.